All right, guys, welcome back to Dying Light. The following last time we left off, we had a few issues with the last two videos with cuts. This video, I'm not going to do any of that. So we're just going to make it a plain video like usual. And we're just going to have some fun. Instead of me having to pause during moments where it's heavy, intensive driving, I'll just do cut edits. It's not that big of a deal. Just don't want to run into another issue. Uh, but I got my bookshelf all set up behind me there. Right there. So, it's coming together nicely. You can't see the top of it, but there's more up there. There's a lot of books. But let's go ahead and get back into this. Uh, we all saw it. The mother accepted you into the following. So we should accept you into our community too. You are welcome now among the children of the sun. Thank you, Jazir. That's it? Okay. We are going to go ahead and go check out the brothers because they have a mission for me to do called Secret Project. We have our secret project. So we're going to go ahead and go check that out. I might need to buy some new car parts. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't have any materials to build a new suspension. Brakes and stuff. Dice. I have to switch back to those brakes. Suspension's bad too. I have to switch back to one. I need to buy new car parts. I just the car parts I just realized in this DLC are expensive. I bought a few last video I didn't show. But they were expensive at all hell. Actually, even some of the weapons are kind of expensive. Dice. Let me see. I don't need ammo. I don't need stringer nails. I need screws. I saw lubricants, steel tubing. Uh, yeah, uh, I need screws. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go do this secret project mission though. Actually, let's see if I have some livers. None. I was gonna do a ready or not video for the weekend because I just installed that game. I haven't played it yet. I played it once. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Good, buddy. I'm so glad you showed Thank up. you, dude. Thank look you. at all those infected, though. There's so many of them. Oh, like I said in the last video, I didn't think there was going to be a Dead Rising remake. So before anybody suggested I do the Dead Rising games, knowing there was a remake coming, I didn't even know there was a remake coming. So I was very surprised by it. I was surprised to even hear that they're remaking the game because they've left the IP so dormant for so long. It's cool to see though. I'm more than down with playing the new one when it comes out. So that means I'm going to have to try to get Dead Rising series done before then. But the game comes out in September. So it shouldn't be an issue. I'm going to get the digital deluxe edition that has all the DLC stuff. A lot of people are like, you're an idiot if you pre-order, but... It looks like it's a good game. It looks super faithful when it looks like they actually cared a lot about the gameplay aspect staying the same. It seems like they just cared a lot about keeping the game as its as, as the, itself. They didn't want to change too much. The only thing that they changed was the actor, which is the same one from Dead Rising 4. But even that, I'm not really that upset about. I keep seeing a strand of my hair. It is bothering me. He didn't reach out to you guys? He said he was going to. Oh boy. I helped him with his research. He told me that he has to write everything down now. He said he needs time. Go and find out, please, why he hasn't reached out to us yet. We must be certain that he will finish the task. Okay, so now we have to go check on Attila. Hopefully he's doing all right. Fate of the fool. Uh, we'll do this story mission first because it says the brothers is unless it's difficulty difficulty it says story mode so I'm guessing it's easy easy mission uh, We'll talk to the brothers first and then we'll go see Attila Let's see Yikes Yikes Hmm 
Let's see where they are on the map. Uh, yeah, they're on the other side, just outside the river. Yeah, they're going to be like a far distance away from the other objective I have to do. Fate of the Fool, where is that on the map? Oh, it's just right there. The brothers are, to, I guess I'll do, I'll go check on Attila first. Like I said, if you guys want to see me do the DLC stuff, I can do all, like, all the extra stuff in the DLC besides just the story. Go through it, just like I said for the first game, we can go through it and do all the side quest stuff. If you guys want to see me do side quests. Nice. Thanks. Get off of my car. Uh, these things are annoying. The virals are the most irritating part because they can keep up with my car. Yeah, but like I said, I'll be doing the Dead Rising series again probably. Because I only have two games left in the franchise. Dead Rising 4 does not run very well on the computer. It seems like the game isn't really well optimized. So... I don't know about that one, but I know I can do three. A lot of people like three, a lot of people hate on three, but I still, I think it's a good game. I think three is a good game. I like Nick's character. Nick's character is cool, the psychopaths are cool, the open world is cool. It's a good game. I don't hate it. They played around and experimented with an open world concept for Dead Rising, and it worked. Dead Rising 3 really worked. I liked it. Or not so much because they took away what made the game good. Took away all the uh, the ragdolling. They use stock animations. A uh, lot less blood. Can't pick up literally anything unless they have it scripted to where you can pick it up. It's just a pain in the butt. All right, let's check on Attila. Like I said, I'm not sure how you guys like it. If you like long videos or short videos, I try to keep it at like a 35 minute minimum. But if I can go over like 45 minutes if the story gets enticing, then it's usually what I do. Let's go see if Attila's in his room. All his doors are open, weirdly. Where are you at, Attila? Kyle, what I have done, however it will turn out in the end, will give the mother a better answer to what she's looking for than any research I could have been losing time working on. You see, as a famous ethnographer, I came to Haran on the invitation of the local colonel's wife. The colonel, the mother. These were words spoken around here with utmost respect. Yet for me, after a while, they became just Amir and Jasmine. A happy marriage, if there ever was one. And it was at his request that I stayed behind when all hell broke loose. I was here when he came back to evacuate her. I watched as he got bitten, and when he asked me to stay, I did as he asked. I thought he'd want me to end his suffering. But that wasn't the case. He gave me something that I was supposed to pass to her, only if her state of mind after this tragedy didn't raise my concern. But I never saw her again. I felt rejected. I felt abandoned. But now that I'm about to die, I can't keep the promise. She still won't agree to see me. But you, you're different, Kyle. You have a chance to meet her. There is no other option for me. I have to leave what the Colonel gave me in your hands, Kyle. I know that when the time comes, you will make the right decision. Remember this code, please. 2519-8603. I apologize for any wrongs I have done. And I beg for your forgiveness. Attila H. Even in his dying, he still hasn't even got to see the mother, and that was one of his wishes, was to actually see her. And only Kyle can see her. Which is, it's interesting that she only wants to see Kyle. I remember, I think the DLC is also canon to the main game. I didn't think they would do, it's like... They wouldn't 
make this and it not be canon to the OG game. But it's definitely canon. I know. You know, sometimes I say that eventually I'm going to run out of things to do content on. I'm eventually going to run out of games to play. I'm originally, I'm eventually going to run out of ideas, but I am dead wrong. There's all kinds of games and things. Yikes. Attila, what the fuck have you done? Hey, it's Kyle Crane. I'm at Attila's house. What's Attila's condition, Crane? Speak. He slit his own throat. He put the mask on and killed himself. Mask? What mask? An old red mask I found at the Temple of the Sun. <sighs> that old fool used you, Crane. What? what? How? To find this mask. We know all about it. That wasn't his task, Crane. Attila was deadly sick. There was a cancer eating his brain. He must have become convinced that if he put this mask on and slit his throat, the God of the Sun would manifest and possess his body. But why? Why, why would he get that in his head? And he shall pass through the gates of death, so that he may bring new life. Attila interpreted that to mean suicide, an error that cost him his life. Hmm. Take the mask, and try to find the book Attila was writing for us. Take them to Jasir, and we'll take care of the rest. Oh, that sucks. It sucks that Attila is gone. Yeah, he gone gone. Poor Attila. Let's go ahead and go up. Hmm. Yeah. Let me see. There is a lot of driving. Point A to point B. Not super easy to get to all the time. I need to play Alien Isolation. I'm gonna get shit, but I've never played it. Not once have I even beaten the game. Too much of a little bitch. So. That might be something I do in the future as well. Let's see. Oh shit. I went the wrong way. My car is over here. Gears of War is also coming up too. And I kind of want to do Gears of War as well. But I can probably only do the first game for now. Need to find a way to play the second and third game because I don't have an Xbox anymore. Uh, I might play it here shortly. I might play two. Here's War Two might become something I play as well. Two and three. Uh oh. Oh, I left my vehicle, dummy. I saw the zombie and I saw the objective. Is this fool running after me? I forgot my car. I was so focused on the objective. Let me get my car back. Oh shit. Let me fuel up. Yikes. Yikes. Where's my... It takes two cro- It takes two bolts to the head. My kids would have- That's crazy. Been orphaned. That's so cool. I love the crossbow. Here. Thank you. As a token of my gratitude. And may the god of the sun always light you. 
<laughs> I just saved him just to kill him. Yikes. Okay. There's a bunch of cool Easter eggs in this game I'd like to show, but it'd be a lot of content to cover. Like I said, there's just so much in this game. There's Easter eggs to so like The Last of Us, and there's a button that teleports you across the world. There's just so much cool things to show in this game. That it would take me a while to cover everything. But if you guys want to just see some long videos of me doing side quests, I mean, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with doing that. I'll even go back to the original game and do side quests in that one. Whee! How far does the, the train tracks, like, take me? It only takes me over here. I kind of want to do Red Dead Redemption 2 for you guys, but I don't know how well my computer is going to hold up against that. At least with OBS open. I know the game runs at like 90 FPS on its own. At 1080 on my computer. Which isn't too bad. It runs really smooth. I can play Red Dead Redemption 1 as well. Yikes. Yikes. Okay. There's a military case nearby. In that train, ain't it? Not in there. I'll take some appliances. Appliances? Components. Candy bar. Give me that. Give me that. It just got dead quiet. Jesus. And forgot what audio was for a second. Hmm. Oh, not everything. Not really. I don't really need a military case. All right. Let's go ahead and move forward. Take the book and Master Jasir. Get close to him and see what he says. Out of the way. Go talk to Jasir. See what he says. Jasir, please don't ask any questions. Just hand this stuff to the acolytes when you have a chance. Okay? It's very important to the mother. I know. They told me already. I'll tell them I have it. Okay. Continue aiding the children of the sun. <laughs> I'm guessing once I get the survivor bar rank, the ranking thing maxed out. That'll be it. Okay. Let's see. I guess we can go talk to the brothers now if they don't have anything else for me. Quests. Oh, the brothers is so far away, though. Yeah, there's just like far as hell. Throw the chase. Go to Adam's house. Uh, that's... I mean, it'll rank me up a decent amount with the Children of the Sun. Where the brothers are going to get me to. It's just going to increase my survivor rank. I think is what that is. My survivor rank. Yeah, it would just increase my survivor rank. Okay. 
How much we got left in this game now? 88%. So maybe like three or four missions. That's insane. All right. Let's go drive to the brothers, and if they pull up something else, we'll do that. Yeah. I do like the driving in this game. It is fun once you get used to it. And you upgrade your vehicle. It just tears up your, uh, your vehicle a lot, and you have to manage materials a lot as well. Hopefully my uh, Adobe Premiere Pro wants to work this time. It crashed like seven times back to back, which was very frustrating. So hopefully they're not having issues and they fix something. Oh. God, I hate spitters. Driver level up. I haven't upgraded any of this hardly. Reinforced cage allows you to install reinforced cage to upgrade. Your buggy will even be even more protected. Hmm. I'll do the reinforced cage for now. Yikes! Yeah, good thing I did that. All right. Let's see. What is y'all's favorite zombie game? That I'm curious about. I got greedy. Uh, I did. I do like State of Decay. State of Decay, I liked a lot. Uh, Dead Rising is probably my high, my top tier zombie game though. As far as goofiness and zombies go, so I hope they do uh, justice for the remake. It looks good. I'm definitely gonna check out the remake. I do a walkthrough for it on you. Uh, a walkthrough on the game for you guys. It just looks good. Like I'd show you all the trailer. Or I'll probably link it, but I'll have to watch that one day if I do a stream or something. I'll pull that up, but it looks pretty damn good. Graphics-wise, it looks good, even though everybody does look a lot older. Like a lot of the actors and characters look older. I don't think it's much of a big deal. They did change up Larry's design, so he's not stereotypical Chinese, but I don't think that's a big issue either. A lot of people complain about that, but. That's the whole thing about Dead Rising, though, is they take things and they push it to its extremes. Like stereotypes and all kinds of things. They just take it to their extreme. It's supposed to be goofy. It's not supposed to be a serious zombie game. It's supposed to have that goofy factor to it. But I guess if they want to do like a more realistic approach, I guess this or a less stereotypical thing that would get them in trouble. I'm just hoping it's gonna be good. I have a feeling it's gonna be good. And if it does do well, I want people to pre-order it because if they do, it, it, they won't just throw the IP away. If you look in, if you actually pay for the game, like even the whole situation with Dead Island, Dead Island had the same issue where they weren't getting enough pre-orders or people buying the game because of they were putting it on Game Pass and just buying it off of Game Pass or playing it on Game Pass. So they're not remastering 2 and 3 now. So we're not going to see from that IP again, probably. Which is kind of sad because those... The, dir the directors actually, or the developers, seem really, really like proud of themselves for making that like there was a lot of hype around it even whenever it did like they released the first like uh like the gameplay previews of them in like the uh the dev room where they're just showing off the gibbing effects and stuff like seeing stuff like that that would be cool if they did more with the characters it's just sad a lot of these ips are probably going to go to waste there's Team nobody Toga, near the tunnel. Where'd you say you were? The Ely crane? Is it not obvious? Now who's getting him confused, Fatim? Try to get those synapses firing, crane.
Congratulations! You made it! I'd wager you've forgotten about our secret project already, yes? We're just trying to kickstart it. Your mind won't be able to comprehend the grandeur of its concept. And the result will give you a heart attack. Once it's complete, that is. For now, we just need some junk, metal parts, scraps... And tape. And nails. Can you remember all that? Uh, you should take notes. Better yet, use crayons and draw. <laughs> oh, also, take that Geiger counter with you, in case of radiation. <laughs> Don't thank us. R radiation? What radiation? The army could have left some surprises behind. Fatin, tell him. Relax, Crane. Just listen to the clicks. And come back to us with all that stuff. All right. You got everything. We might have already had all of it. You. We certainly didn't overestimate him. Hey, take a look, guys. It's all there. So what's this secret plan of yours? Still secret. Sorry. We'll be in touch. You be in touch, Tolga. I'll be too busy working. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Sucks that we lost Attila. Did I get like an upgrade for that or? It only it only pushed my survivor rank a little bit. Oh, that does look pretty legit now. Super cool. And the little lights are shining up now. Why'd I kick it? Hold on, there's something I want to do. Mm -hmm. Accessories, Vizier bobblehead. Nice. All right then. Is there anything else for me to do? Uh, I don't think so. Just continue helping them. Uh, two roads diverged. Yeah, we don't have much left in the game actually. Now that I look. Hmm. Look for a bit. Uh, secret project. Give the brothers some time. Go to Adam's house. I do thrill of the chase. Where is his house? Yikes. Man. Yikes. Okay. Let's see if there's one closest. Avenge Arkin's family. No, it's all gonna be up north. Man. That sucks. Oh, there's one closer. There's one there. Okay. Let's go look for Sabbat. We'll do this side mission, I think I'll call it. Yikes! I know I can upgrade my, uh, my Children of the Sun thing by doing side quests, like... The, the civilian rescues, but... How much fuel do I need? <laughs> Yells a buffo? What is that? Oh my god. Get me the hell out of here. I stopped at the worst portion of locationing. Let's see what the two brothers need. Bring required parts. It just said they said bring jewels. They said twelve. No man. I need twelve fuel. Okay. There's more fuel there. Go 
ahead and check this. Yep. Those 18 wheelers actually really help out. Fuel there. I don't think you can get fuel out of the out of these. Alright. That wasn't too bad, I guess. Get out of my way. Okay. Just need to find a few more cars. And check them out. What the hell? Is this a race? It is. It's a track. That's interesting. I didn't know there was a racetrack. <laughs> okay. This area should have some. Got some rubber. Here we go. This is also a safe house, so. Nope. Damn it. I was gonna drop kick him off the damn canopy. That would've been funny. Okay. Like I said, we're gonna do this and then we're gonna go talk to the brothers. I'm gonna go talk to the brothers. Yikes. I have to go all the way back. This is why the grappling hook comes in handy. It's just so nice. Ultra yikes. Get out of here. Okay. Is that it? Is it all she wrote for these guys? Is he in the building? He is. Yikes. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, that was easy. This is also a safe house, so... I believe it is. Yeah, hey, it's a safe house. Super cool. I'll get some more, just for me. Oh boy. Yikes. I don't know if it muted that. If it didn't, I am sorry. I just... blew out my sinuses. Yikes. That actually cleared me out. Oh boy. Okay, let's go see what the brothers want. I think that'll, that'll be it. Oh, yikes. The wheels are off. Does that damage me? It does. I was like, did I walk over that and not get hurt? What's up, fellas? You found it? Splendid. Yeah, I'm thrilled to help, as usual. So now what? Now you let us work. In peace. Shoo. But don't let shiny objects distract you too much. We may need you again. What? I thought you were going to show me something cool. <laughs> yeah, how long is y'all going to take on me? Okay. Yikes. All right, I think I'm gonna end this one here. Get a screenshot of them. 
All right, I think I'm gonna end this one here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you all in the next one. And with that, peace.